What is up guys, Casey here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a playground. And it's not just any old playground, it's the playgrounds like on the iPad Swift Playgrounds app. So you have the views and all the cool stuff, animations, all that cool stuff that you can do, which I never knew about, I just learned about this. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, pretty fun too, so I'm just like normal coding, it's like a playground, hence the name playground. Alright, so to get started, let's head over to Xcode. And then click File, New, Playground. You can name your playground whatever you want. I'm going to name it My Playground since that's what it gave me. Uh, iOS. The next. Then uh, save it wherever you want. Now, this is why it's so cool. I always thought it was, Playground was made to like test your code like bar num1 equals one bar num two equals two num one plus num two oh print this print okay this is what I thought playgrounds were for and then it's gonna print out the answer on the side well, at least it will. It'll show uh, three over here on the side. The simulator's launching. I don't know why it's taking so long. But that's what I always thought the Playgrounds was for. But with I believe with Xcode 8, it came out with this new thing called Swift Playgrounds on the iPad. And I guess you can do way more than that, which is pretty cool. And I thought you could only do it on the iPad, but apparently you can do it on Xcode too. So let's do that. Okay, so up here in the top, click the little sidebar, and you'll notice you have sources and resources files, okay? So in our sources file, let's click down and say new file. We're gonna call this whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine ball view, okay? We're just gonna make a ball. And import UI kit. Save that. Okay, now what you'll notice, on my playground, right, you make the screen as big as you want, tap the little two circles, okay, and you'll get this timeline, okay, the timeline will show what you are coding, but first we need to import some stuff, so let's import playground support, Okay, and import XC, oh, XC Playground. Okay, and then down here we're gonna say Playground page dot current dot view, live view equals view, okay? We'll just say that. Now we gotta create the view, okay? So let view equal, okay, this is gonna be a ball view. And we just have to initialize like that. Okay, save that. Now let's head back over to ball view. And we gotta import the same classes, so we can just copy these. Paste those in. And this is gonna be a public class. And it's going to be called ball view. And we're going to import UI view. Okay, there we go. Now, the important part here is you need to initialize the code, okay? So we can run init frame super dot init. Okay, and it's gonna want us to give it a frame size. So let's say, okay, CG rect, and we're gonna do this one. Okay, so X is gonna be zero, tab, zero, 
tab. This is going to be however big you want your view to be. So we can make it 100 by 100, okay? And then tab one more time, save that. And now we're going to get some errors, okay? Uh, we need another one right there. And then make this public or override in it. And you're going to say public because it's a public class. Save that. And then it's going to give you the require in it. You must implement this. Just tap the little red button. It will suggest you put it in there. Just do that. And then we have to say public here. Okay, save that. And then in here, we're just going to create a uh, view that pops up on the screen. Okay. So we're going to say let ball equal. Okay, this is going to be a type UI view. Okay. And we're going to say let ball of type let ball equal UI view. Okay. Right there. And then ball dot background color is an equal dot blue. And then ball dot corner dot layer dot corner radius is going to equal is going to equal ball dot frame dot size dot width divided by two. Okay. And then we're gonna return Okay, and then down here, just put in these, and what is it saying? Probably ball is, yeah. And then we'll just say self dot add sub view ball. Dab, let's change the width and height to 500, save that. And then let's say self dot background color equals dot white. Well, let's set, uh, let's say ball dot okay and then we can actually say uh, where the position is okay of the frame so here we'll just say five or four tab four tab uh, 50 by 50 tab save that now it should add it okay this is compiling running and there we go. It's not circle because we have to say clip the bounds. Save that. Now it should be ball. What the? Okay. So There we go. We just uh, weren't initializing the bounds before we were creating the object or after we had created the size of the object so it didn't know uh, to round it or all. But like if you guys see this, you know this is in the playground. This isn't even an app. Think of all the cool things that you guys could do with this. Um, making games, uh, creating stuff for people you know to message back and forth. We're just like super interactive environments and cool stuff like that so yeah that's the tutorial hopefully you guys create some pretty cool stuff thank you guys so much for watching the video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions please leave a comment below and thank you guys for watching peace